Hey folks, welcome along to another video from myself. Today we're going to look at a really cool little website that lets you view all of the fonts that you have installed on your system, and that could be on a PC or a Mac. I've even tried it on my iPad Pro, and it works there as well, so it should work on other tablet devices. Now there is font manager software which you can download and install onto your system, but sometimes people don't want to go that far. So why not use something which is already there, your web browser and a simple website. So let's go over and have a look at the website in question. So here we are, this is wordmark.it or wordmark it. It's a really simple website and I'm gonna show you how to use it today. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to type in a word or a phrase that you'd like to see in all of the fonts on your system. So I'm going to type in the name of my business and then I'm going to hit enter. And there you see it. All of the fonts which I have installed on my PC. Now I'm not gonna keep scrolling because I have a lot of fonts. As you could imagine, I'm a designer. But one of the first things that I like to do when I'm on here is you can actually change from light to dark. And I find the dark mode a lot easier to pick out the fonts when I'm going through them. Another thing that you can do is you can click on zoom in, that little plus symbol, or you can zoom right out. Again, you may want to zoom in so that you're only viewing a few at a time. Or like me, if you're used to working with typefaces and fonts, you may want to have a lot on the screen because you can quickly scan your eye across them. So that's uh, the first basic things that you'll have on Word Market. So let's uh, zoom back in a little bit for you. Now what you can do is you can also filter out fonts that you would like to maybe use. So you can just click on fonts as you're scrolling down the page and you'll see that they're all being highlighted. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to have to keep scrolling up and down to kind of, you know, compare them all. So what you can do is there's a little button up here that says filter selected. So if you click that, it will get rid of all of the ones you haven't chosen and only show you the ones that you'd like to compare with one another, which is awesome. Another good thing you can do is you can actually click print and it will print these out on your attached printer or you can download as a PNG image file so that you can reference all the fonts together later on. To show all the fonts again, just click the show all fonts button and then to remove your selection, just click back on one you've already selected and down here at the bottom, you'll see an option appear that says deselect all. It does disappear after a second or two, so you have to be quite quick to, to get that on there. Another cool little thing, maybe you're only looking for a specific type of letter. How does a specific letter look? So what you can do is you can click and drag and just highlight one letter. And as you can see on all the fonts, it's highlighting that one letter. Now, I know I said I prefer the dark view, but when I'm highlighting letters, sometimes the light view works much better because you can see the letter stands out more clearly. So that's another great thing that Word Market IT has. So let's go back to dark to clear the highlighted selection. There's like a little torch sort of symbol up here. Click on that and you'll see the full word again. Now, let's say you're looking through all your system fonts, but you, there's nothing there that really fits what you want. With wordmark.it, you can actually view all of the fonts that Google has available. Now, Google's fonts are all commercial commons, which means you're free to use them in commercial and personal products or applications. So if you click on show Google fonts, that will then give you access and show you to all of the fonts that are available from Google, which is pretty cool, I think. You can, again, do all the same things, select and filter, view the ones that you, that you want to use, and you can remove each of them and it'll bring them all back, or you could have used the show all um, or the deselect all, and it will take you back to them back and it will take you back to seeing all of the fonts. 
So that's pretty much what wordmark.it offers you. But there are a couple more things that you can get by signing up to the pro version. Now it's not gonna break the bank, it's $2 a month, but you have to pay that a year in advance, so it's $24. But what that will allow you to do is if you select some fonts, you'll see this little symbol here called Tag Selected Fonts. And what that allows you to do is you can select fonts and give them a tag. So let's say, for example, I was creating a website and I was looking for fonts to use on that website. I could select the ones I like and I could tag them calls web fonts. So that when next time I go into wordmark.it, I can look at that tag and it will instantly show me those fonts which I have tagged. Another benefit is when you are scrolling through the fonts, now and again, you'll see some advertisements. They're not really that obtrusive, but by signing up to the pro version, you will get rid of those adverts. So that's it for my run through of wordmark.it. I know that I use it sometimes way more than the font applications I actually have installed on my system. I just find it really easy to access and really easy to use. I know that you're gonna find it useful as well. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please share it with your friends. Give the video a like on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And when you do, click on that little bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And until I see you next time, stay creative, folks. Mm -hmm.